What's up guys, I hope that you are doing well. In this video, we are going to see how to scale Facebook ads for your SMMA clients. So this is going to be a very valuable video, especially if you are running ad sets right now and you want to scale them, you will have more budgets and you just want to take this to the next level. So this is a part one, there will be two parts actually. But yeah, let's, uh, let's start right now. So guys, the first uh, stage when you want to scale is actually to create more ad sets. So yeah, just create new ad sets. And I'm going to tell you exactly the reason why you want to create a bunch of different ad sets. And the reason why is actually all you need to do is find more winning ad sets, okay? You cannot rely on just one winning ad set. You must have a bunch of winners, okay? The problem is, if you are focusing on one ad set and it's suddenly dying, you're just in big trouble. Whereas if you have a bunch of winners, if one is dying, it's not, uh, it's not a big deal because you have, again, a lot of winners that, are, uh, that can bring results for your clients. But when you are relying just on, one, uh, just on one ad set, it's a big problem. So the key in Facebook ads, it's really diversification. And I'm going to talk more about it. So again, what you want instead is to have a bunch of assets and a bunch of winners, you know, cut all the losers, all uh, the assets that are actually losing you money, you need to cut them. With Facebook, you need to just uh, trust the numbers. Don't care about your emotions. Don't uh, listen to your emotions. All you need to, um, to look at is the number. It's just a numbers game and you need to cut off all emotions from Facebook. Right, so, you know, as I said, if one ad set is, uh, is dying, it's fine because you diversified and you have actually a lot of winners that can bring results for your clients. Okay, so now let's see uh, the exact process on how to scale Facebook ads. And actually, so you need to create new ad sets, right? And it's ad sets that are similar to the one that are working. Now, when you see a winner, okay, when you see an ad, uh, an ad set that is giving for you results, what I want you to do is immediately to duplicate this ad set and to create new ad set that is similar to this working ad set. I'm going to do a live example about it. So if you're not understanding yet, it's completely fine, but um, it's just, you know, to understand what we are doing and why we are doing it. But basically we want to diversify our ad sets and we want to create ad sets that are very similar to the one that is working. So what I recommend is actually starting at $5 per day for testing ad sets, okay? But depending on your budget, you are absolutely free about it. And you can try any budget you want. You know, you can try $10, you can try $20, you can try $50 even if you have the budget. But why I love a $5 budget because First, it saves on uh, on advertising, you know, on ad spend, especially if, uh, you know, you don't have a lot of budget. And secondly, <clears throat> with $5 ad set, you can try actually, you know, the diversification part that I told about is with $5 ad set, you can diversify much more than with, let's say, you know, three $20 ad sets. Three $20 ad sets, you can have you know, just uh, 12 $5 ad sets. So you can try just more and more metrics. And that's the beauty of $5 ad sets. You can try and diversify much more. So yeah, let's talk about the advantage of $5 ad set. And again, the first thing is more diversification and also less risks. Okay, so that's the most important. When you have $5 ad set, guys, you're reducing risk when you're using a bunch of $5 ad sets. So when you are using them, you are reducing risk because you are diversifying your ad sets. And that's a very important concept. Now, because you have three $50 ad sets, if you have this, you have three $50 ad sets, you're just not diversifying enough. And I really want you to guys to understand the consequence about it is if you have, if you are focusing on very big, um, you know, $50, $100 ad set. The problem is first, you're not diversifying. So it's very risky and it's risky because look, 
The risk here is that you can lose a lot of money without getting any results at all. So for example, if you are having a bad day, so let's say Mondays, you know, in general, Mondays are a very bad day for a lot of Facebook marketer, I mean, everybody. And if you have just three ad sets at $50 per day and you're not getting any results, you just lost $150 in this day and you have no results. Whereas if you have a bunch of $5 ad sets, you are diversifying, uh, thus you are reducing risks. And the thing is that, okay, so a lot of ad sets didn't bring you results. Maybe, maybe a couple of ad sets will. And this way you can, you know, just redu reduce your risk and actually save money on advertising. And again, yeah, when you are losing uh, $150 without getting any results, it's very hard. It's actually terrible, especially if it's money from client. So you always want to diversify as much as possible. If you're dropshipping, guys, actually, I mean, this is for SMMA, but even if you're dropshipping, have a bunch of winners, have a bunch of products, have a bunch of ad sets also. You need to diversify as much as possible. And for you guys that are doing SMMA, if uh, you have somebody that is doing Facebook for you, or if you are doing it by yourself, actually try to tell them and to tell yourself to diversify as much as possible. Diversification is how you can reduce risk when you are using Facebook ads. Now, let's see a live example of this right now. And I'm going to go directly to my Facebook manager. I'm actually in my personal account, so I don't have a lot of uh, ad set turning on. But what you are going to do is to click on create. And I'm going to show you exactly how you would do if you would like to, uh, you know, to scale your assets. So depending on, you know, depending on uh, your campaign, if you don't have a lot of, um, of pixel data, I would recommend you to uh, start with traffic. Uh, if you already have a lot of uh, pixel data and you can start, uh, you know, you can just start to use conversions. Uh, but co you, you need to realize that conversions is costing uh, much more than uh, traffic. So if you don't have any data, please start with uh, traffic. But again, you can start with conversions, but I think the best in general is to start with traffic if you don't have a lot of um, pixel data, you know? So let's say that we are going to start with conversion because we have a lot of traffic in our, um, you know, in, uh, in our website or in our funnel also, if, you're, if you did a funnel for a client. So the name, you know, anyway, it can be name of your client, so client one, uh, website conversion, and you know, that's about it. Website conversion one. So you continue. This will be uh, the ad set name and uh, you know, it's everything related to the audience. But what I want to, to show you guys, so here you're going to select your pixel. Okay, I mean, it's, um, it's not really your pixel, but it's uh, the, um, the event that you want to convert for, you know, that you want to optimize for. So uh, if you want to optimize for purchase, just go on purchase. If you want to optimize to get more leads, just put uh, leads, you know. If you want to optimize for add to cart, just use add to cart. But the interesting part that I want to show you is the ad set, I mean, the audience part. And basically, so right now I'm going to do it in France. I mean, even not in France, because I want this to be in English for you guys. Let's say that uh, we are focusing in London. So I'm going to target all London, okay? Okay, I, I have London and actually what I'm going to do is I want to advertise only in the city of London. Okay, so I have uh, like 7 million people that are on Facebook that I can advertise for. The age, let's say that um, I'm selling, uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's say that I'm selling um, glasses, okay, Gla gaming glasses for one of my clients, okay? So what I'm going to do is actually select the age. So for the age, it can be from 18 to, uh, let's say to 45, for example. I would target only men if it's related to gaming because obviously I would have much more uh, men that I would be interested than women. Now for the audiences, I'm supposing that it's an e-commerce store, you know, because I'm selling uh, gaming glasses for my clients, but 
if it's a local business, you want this to be much more, um, you know, much more smaller. It could be a 100K, 50K even. But for e-commerce business, this is um, the perfect size, actually. <laughs> when you have millions, it's perfect for e-commerce businesses. Now, th for the language, you are, of course, going to take English and detailed targeting. So that's the interesting part. Now, I want you to uh, uncheck expand detailed target targeting criteria because we are going to just focus on this. So what I want you to guys um, see is uh, how uh, the, the process that I would take in order to create those ads for my clients. The first thing that I would do is, of course, gaming, you know, that's just the first interest that comes to my mind is just even gaming computer, you know, in gaming computer, I have much more, uh, the audience is much uh, bigger, whereas just gaming, I don't know why, but I just have 400 uh, people. Gamer is much more interesting, actually, but I would start with gaming computer. Just one detailed targeting, and if it's in an e-commerce store, I would narrow the audience and I would put also engaged buyer, engaged shoppers, so people that are buying a lot online. You know, they have uh, just a shopper uh, behavior. They are buying a lot, right? So right now I have 31,000 people. So again, for an e-commerce store, it's a little bit, uh, it's very small actually. So I might put, uh, you know, just, I checked just the city in case of a local business, but actually I don't really need it. So we are going to put cities within radius. I actually have more people. I'm not, I'm not really satisfied about it. So I might um, just, um, let's see, I want here to be just one detail targeting. I don't want a bunch of target of, uh, I don't want a bunch of audiences because I just want to, uh, to try one metric at a time. Okay. So what I would do here is I would just, you know, I, I just, I, I just would put the United Kingdoms directly. And I would have a much more, a bigger audience. I could even uh, advertise if it would, if my, if my clients could uh, ship to the US, I would actually put United States directly. And let's see how much do we got. We got 1,500,000 people, which is actually awesome for, uh, for Facebook and for e-commerce businesses. So I would try, I would try this audience, you know, I would try this combination. What I would put here is gaming, gaming plus engaged shopper, right? You have the age, you have the country, which is US. And yeah, that's about it. I would put also um, a metric that is very important is the size of the audience, because you know, it's just, uh, you know, might be useful. You just want to know like which audiences are working the best. And so let's say that you're running this ad set and that it's working. So it's getting a lot of results for your clients, a lot of sales. So you're increasing their sales, which is perfect. Your client is very happy. But actually the thing here is that you don't want to rely just on this ad set. You want to create a bunch of uh, other ad sets that are similar to this one. So how I would go into finding ad sets that are similar? Well, I would go on to suggestions right here. And Facebook is going to tell to give me audiences that are very similar to gaming computer. So if I would have to sell gaming glasses, I would also target PC gamer and I would do, I would build an asset just of PC gamer. Okay. So it would be 2.5 million. I would try this asset to see if it can bring results. Again, the key in marketing is, is testing. Okay. You need to test, you need to test a bunch of assets in order to diversify as much as possible. And this way you can reduce risk as much as possible also. So I create an asset and I'm actually going to put again suggestions and I would put, you know, Fortnite and I would erase PC gamer. I would create another asset uh, focusing on Twitch, focusing on League of Legends, focusing on street on steam, 
on Counter-Strike, you know, all of these games on Overwatch also. And I would find what's working the best. So how this is the first part of scaling Facebook ads is actually finding a lot of winning ad sets so you can diversify and reduce your risks. So when you are scaling in the first stage, just find a lot of winners, diversify as much as possible. So yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. You can ask me any questions on Instagram. I answer all DMs. And yeah, if you would like uh, part two on how to scale Facebook ads even more, just let me know in the comment. Also in the comment, you can give me ideas about videos that you would like. It could be about Facebook, about selling. I mean, you know, guys, about anything. And I would do this video just for you. So just ask me any comment that you want. And I, you know, I would do a video about it only for you guys. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I will see you guys in another video.